Well, hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm going to go over the 2008 Bears Stratomatic season thus far through four games. Now, if you recall, I only posted three games, and that's because I will, from time to time, just play one of the games off camera and uh, for, you know, expedience purposes. I will just play the game, keep the stats, and then um, every so often we'll report the uh, statistics on the season. And in fact, every four games is good because it's a quarter of the season. So we are at the quarter waypoint. And um, so let's get on with it. Let's get on with talking about um, what we have going on um, in the uh, in the season so far. So uh, right now, in the four games that we have played, we are actually with one win and three losses, and we only have 61 points on offense and 99 points against. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So, yeah, I mean, not, not a good record, not uh, by any stretch of the imagination. So let's get on with the analysis. Uh, our passing game has so far been just Kyle Orton, and he is 57 of 110 passing for 599 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception on the season. And, I mean, he's not the greatest of quarterbacks anyway, so, it, you know, I guess we have to take this and run with it. Uh, rushing, we have Matt Forte with 87 attempts for 450 yards and one touchdown, which is a 5.17 yard average per rush. So he's doing quite well, but I mean, that's really our only offensive weapon, actually. Uh, then we got Adrian Peterson, not the Adrian Peterson who is now on Washington and was on the Vikings. This is a different Adrian Peterson, one that's much worse. And he only has 16 attempts on the year for 59 yards and a 3.69 yard per average carry. And then we have Kevin Jones with 13 attempts for 20 yards. Receiving, um, you can go back and you can basically see, you know, look at Orton's completions and that's how many um, completions there are in four yards. But the leading receiver of the group is Greg Olson, our tight end, and he has 37 passes caught for 402 yards and two touchdowns. Kicking, we have Robbie Gould. He has made seven of seven extra points on the year, and he has also made four of five field goals for a total of 19 points on the young season. And then you got Brad Maynard, our punter, who has 19 punts for 788 yards which is a 41.47 yard average per punt. And then on defense, we have allowed 1,052 passing yards, but only 248 yards rushing. So we're great against the run, not all that great against the pass for a total uh, yards allowed of 1,300 yards in four games. We have our defense has one interception, zero fumble recoveries, and seven sacks. So uh, we could be a little better on the pass defense, I think. Um, but really, uh, our bigger problem our bigger problem is not really the defense. It's uh, although that's not that great. Um, I mean, it's, it could you know it could certainly use a little improvement. But our biggest problem is offense. So anyway, I want to let you guys know the next game, which I will televise, will be the game against um, uh, uh, the Dallas Cowboys on February 23rd. And by the way, to recap that record, um, the one win was against the Colts in the opener, and then we uh, lost to uh, Tampa Bay, um, the Eagles. The Eagles was the latest loss. Um, we lost to, um, who was it? Tampa Bay. There was somebody else in there. Let me see if I can see who that was. Oh yeah. Carolina. So yeah, we lost to, uh, 
we beat the Colts, and then we lost to Carolina, Tampa Bay, and the Eagles. So that's where we are, one and three, going into the Dallas game. And Dallas, remember, is a team that we did not play yet. So, um, or it's um, Dallas is a team that actually was not on the real schedule. They're a team that I actually put on the schedule. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they do. Um, and in real life, the Bears were two and two at this point. Um, they did beat the Eagles somehow. I don't know how because that defense was pretty good. Um, so in real life, the Bears were two and two, and I've got them at one and three. So, uh, you know, comments are appreciated. Uh, again, here we go with the uh, contact information. And, uh, you know, uh, if you want to leave me a line, contact me on Twitter, on Instagram, on my email down there at the bottom. Hope you can see that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. And uh, also, Ring the bell so that you know when I've got a new video out. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off from Bears Central.